All right, just wanted to show why transhumanism is a satanic, Luciferian, Illuminati religion, and why it is bringing on the Antichrist. I'm going to read this article. Uh, this was actually, I read, I read this article a bit earlier on a, on a previous video about how transhumanism, how singularity will basically not rescue humans from death. But I'm going to also read a part of the article that I didn't read about how transhumanism is basically a religion. So let's get right into this. Let's see what it says. Uh, it says, transhumanism is religion. From this perspective, the transhumanist desire to, quote, conquer death sounds like the worst forms of religious zeal. Both science and spiritual practice are supposed to help us look directly into the truth of life, the universe, and everything. Death, by wh whatever means, is part of all three. To spend effort of, uh, thinking otherwise is quite sadly miss to, miss is to quite sadly miss the point profoundly. Uh, even most important, however, it is wrong headness of the transhuman transhuman conception of of what it means to be human. It is their idea that if if it's literally all in your head, your life, your trans in the transhumanist conception is reducible to uh, computations happening in your brain. The total the totality of your experience is invinci it's uh, for instance, be hope I'm saying that word right. Not good at reading on a computer. Plus, I do have a bit of a reading disability too. So, uh, I got a mild form of autism. So, just keep that in mind. I'm not good at reading in general, just especially on the internet. Uh, and intimacy, uh, in a strange, in inescapable human uh, luminosity of its presence. It's all just meat computing. It's, it's all just meat computing. And if that's the case, who needs who needs to who needs the meat? Let's just swap out the neurons for silicon chips, and it will be all the same. Heck, it will be better. And let's go on forever and ever. Okay, what's the mark of the beast going to be? A, a chip, a mark. It's going to be a mark in the forehead or in the hand. It, it's satanic. And by the way, I'm going to get to this later on. But think about transhumanism as you're basically playing God. And the reason why humans die is because of sin. But transhumanism wants to reverse God's natural order because we brought this upon ourselves because of our sin. There are so many assumptions and metaf metaphysical beliefs wrapped in these ideas that it's hard to know where to begin. The most important, however, is that the reduction of life me it to means to meet computing. It is really, really nothing more than unjustified hope with the influ influation of technology that happens to define technology's frontier right now. But after that, more than half a century's research in AI, there is no evidence that you will be able to upload yourself into a machine. That is not to say that there cannot be brain machines uh, interfaces that expand the ability to do simple tasks, but just as we keep failing to build a general AI, we will not replace the holism of, of, the, real, of the real world in silicon, of the life world in silicon. Uh, while I am all in favor of extending the years we get to live a bit, if those years are truly lived, the idea of conquering death which machine, with machines sounds like something more than a nightmare than a dream. It, and let's not waste our days simply pro prolonging them, but instead let's embrace this day and all the adventures and learning and compassion and experience it promises. Now, this person who wrote this probably isn't saved, but I have to give an amen to that because he is warning about the dangers of this transhumanist agenda. It is a religion to try to quote unquote conquer death. Only Jesus Christ conquered death on the cross. And basically, you die because of sin. Okay, you have a sinful nature. Okay, Genesis chapter 2, verses uh, 17, Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 to 19, uh, Romans chapter 6, verse 23, James chapter 1, verses uh, 15 to, so, sorry, 13 to 16, I do apologize. And uh, many, many other scriptures too show that you die because of sin. You have health problems because of sin. And no amounts of, of transhumanism or machinery are going to fix that. You're not going to over, override God's natural plan and God's natural order that we brought upon ourselves, by the way, because of our sin. Because we sinned, now we experience physical death. And the only way to experience true immortality is through Jesus Christ and eternal life through Jesus Christ. But transhumanism is a satanic, luciferian, illuminati counterfeit to that. It's occultism. It's witchcraft. And it's trying to alter your DNA and alter your bodily uh, combustion, and alter, your, alter your bodily, your natural bodily order to try to live immortality. And even this person, this person who wrote this article, even he realizes that and it's warning about the dangers and how we live our life now. And if you're a Christian, you live a, a life trying to serve God and trying to please him. So don't be deceived by the satanic transhumanist agenda. It is a satanic antichrist religion. With the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, be with all the brethren. Goodbye.